Ghost of BSM last live one month ago. Oh, I need to change the stream title. Are we live? Yeah, I just came inside. What? That's wild. That's really silly. Oh fuck, I forgot the robot left. I gotta change it by hand. <laughs> That's fine. The robot left? I hate us. Okay. Wow. Mm. We are live. Yippee! And everything's right. Hello, everybody. This is BSM Brawl. And we got some really spicy stuff for you guys. It's gonna be Awesome Kyle versus Fogershot. And uh, this is me, I'm Mint, and I'm joined here with Rhymes with Nash. Uh, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing pretty great, actually. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing these players show down. We've got a huge map pool here, um, all rice and hybrid for these wow. two rice players. Uh, so much rice in yeah. the map pool. I've never seen a map pool like that before. <laughs> Me neither, actually. Uh, That's really wild. All right, looks like we're going to get right into it. And yeah, uh, I believe Fogershot banned Angel's Ladder by Tof Daddy and Kyle banned Open Your Eyes by Joel for a little bit of context. Uh, we will see how the match continues and this is our first pick by Fogershot. It is Let's Gendarm. Go. This was featured in Soft Six, I believe. Or am I making that up? Uh yeah, Soft Six, uh it was the cut version. It was in the playoffs pool, I believe. Mm. Or no no no, it was in the group stage pool. Round of sixty four. And it's a perfect difficulty for these two players, I think. We can see uh, Fogershot struggling with accuracy, but also Kyle finding the first miss. So these are um, quite difficult stream patterns, um, e especially for, for its VPN. There's going to be a lot of jacks, implicit jacks, and it's just a wild ride, honestly. And at 272 BPM, um, these players are going to be struggling with this quite a bit, yeah, as we can Kyle see. Yeah, Kyle picks up another miss, and another Fogger oh, wow. has the accuracy and combo advantage on his side. I don't think he's missed yet. It does look like... No, he did miss earlier? No. No, 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 he didn't, actually. Wait, is he up seeing this? With a 98%? That's pretty impressive. That's... That's... <laughs> dip, dipping below 98, even. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Yeah, and uh, this is a very interesting first pick too. Um, just looking at the the pool, the stream maps. This is probably it's more in the middle in terms of the difficulty. Um, but the patterning itself is very, I guess, it's more implicit mini Jackie, and there's a lot of those two hand trills that you can see here. Um, so that that I guess is the main difficulty of this this map, in which we can see that Fogershot is clearly just crushing it, really really comfortable with this sort of stuff. But Kyle is just struggling, especially with those those trills there. Oh, Fogershot finds the first miss. Sec. Oh, that's interesting. This map definitely can crush the stamina if you're not really at that level where you're more than comfortable with this sort of stuff. Yeah, these sustained think, streams yeah. can get pretty brutal at the end here. Uh, For sure. Fogger has a very comfortable lead and finishes yeah. off with a 70,000 point lead, giving him the first point here. Very comfortable amount of buffer to miss there at the end, even with that stamina drain. And we are playing first to seven, best of 13. Yep. This is, uh, depending on how well these players do, this might be a long one. So that's exciting. 
Yeah. I know they are both, uh, they both proclaim themselves as like jump stream stamina means. Um, I think Kyle emphasizes that more about himself, but Fogershot definitely has, I think, at least comparable stamina. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so I think that's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Kyle does seem to be gearing more towards the tech side of things, actually. Just looking at his protect and like he seems to be picking brain fog. Um, that's interesting. That might lead to some implications later on in the match. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of a good strategy, but if I were him, I would also maybe look at the hybrid picks too. I honestly don't know if he can win on stamina or physicality, so he might be better off on some of the more control-oriented picks. Yeah, and I think that's why he's going for the tech strat, but I think Fogershot is significantly less comfortable in the hybrids than uh, than Kyle would be, but I don't know if Kyle is comfortable enough to pick the hybrids in the first place. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, that's really interesting. It might be kind of like a mental barrier for Kyle as well to not pick hybrids, just because even though he's a rice player, he might have the advantage on there, but he might just feel like he can't win on those because of his uh, skill set. For sure. And looks like we're gonna get right into it. Brain fog on 1.1. This is gonna be... I know I'm saying this a lot, but I'm feeling that it's quite interesting. I think that the matchup itself is gonna lend itself to some really cool moments later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just for the record, um, I believe that this map was used in MWC round of 16 in 2021 on 1.2, so it's a rate higher than this. So we'll see how the players do. Um, we're just getting into the first mini jack section of the map, and both players seem to be struggling around the same amount, it does seem. Yeah, it's actually pretty evenly matched, but Kyle pulls out a little higher. Oh, and Foger finds the uh, first miss here, dropping down to 98.4. I think going the tech strat was probably good for, for Kyle here, especially these sort of mini Jackie patterns. I think that really does give Kyle the advantage here. Although their accuracies are so close. What? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, they've both dropped a lot of accuracy over time in this first half, but they're still this is right wild. next to each other. Kyle is still holding on to that really solid combo. That's most of his lead right now. In fact, he's at an accuracy disadvantage now. Yeah, that is that is why he is why he has that slight buffer in terms of score. He has the combo, but his act could easily slip up and Photoshop could easily take this right back. One miss can cost everything. He really needs to watch out. Yeah, it's all on him to hold combo and oh, ooh, they but, trade. Ooh. All right, well that's gonna level out the playing field a little bit, but I think that, oh, Another Kyle miss. missing. Ooh, this is gonna get intense. Yeah. It's gonna get closer and closer. Oh, there's, there's so little, so map. little there's map. There's so little. Oh, oh my God! No. 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 Oh no! At the very end, he gives what? it away to Fogger Shot. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. That, that's the last minute. Oh my God! The last like five seconds. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That was so close. Oh my God. Tragic. That's. Wow. Another point to Fogershot. Breakpoint, his pick. I'm appalled. Where do you think he's going to go next? I don't know. I feel like he might go for... Ooh, there you go. Five, Five guys. guys. So this is one of the... I would say the easier stream picks. One of them. I think definitely the easiest stream pick out of the four. That bacon is so hmm. serious, boy. I think that's what Photoshop seems to be gearing towards, is streams. Because he picked 
Ten stars. Kyle banned Open Your Eyes. Now he's picking five guys. He might pick uh, Healing Vision next, unless it's too difficult. Yeah, that would be the, the logical successor to these two. Um, yeah, I guess it... We'll see if it seems to be working. Yeah. He did it, win comfortably on of, the first yeah. pick. I guess he kind of knows that Kyle struggles more on streams, particularly since Kyle uh, seems to talk about trick stars. <laughs> oh! Very rough start for both of these players. Kyle managing it a little better, though. Maybe we'll see yeah, yeah. a similar situation to last map. It's a very it... short map, so any misses can really damage any sort of lead that someone could have. Yeah, I'm just. But hoping Photoshop seems Kyle to be less comfortable hand. with this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting if that happened again. I think Kyle, just based off the information we're getting here, maybe he can handle the shorter streams, but the more sustained streams, like in Gendarme. Yeah, that uh, that would make sense. That then healing vision would make sense as the next pick for Photoshop in this case. Kyle does seem to be hitting significantly early. Oh, Photoshop too. Actually, both of them are hitting really early. Hmm. That's really odd. Might be the offset of the map. Oh, Photoshop had the Ooh. accuracy advantage for a moment, but they both They're drop just, a lot. Oh my god! It's so close going into the last quarter. I think that's that's it. There's no more streams. That's oh, it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And Kyle has a pad from his earlier combo lead. Yeah, he has that lead, so I think, yeah, Kyle will be taking this comfortably, I think. Yeah, pretty So solid. that brings us back, uh, uh, no, the, it evens out the breakpoints, so... Yeah, two to one, Kyle to pick. Really interesting. Similar ratios, too. Let's see, where could Kyle be going next? Um, I do think his more technical strategy is probably better, but again, I do think he might want to lean towards the hybrids. I feel like he should at least try or consider the hybrids, because I don't know. Yeah, he's got I feel like time. it could work. Like, losing one pick isn't going to take Kroger to match point or anything. Uh, and the information he would give... Looks like he is picking him. his protect. Oh, well. So he is sticking with... the peck side of things. They're all... they're they're both sticking with, with rice and their respective categories that they seem to be... favoring. But, I don't know. This is... I'm really curious where this is gonna go. Maybe he doesn't want to take the risk on the hybrid. Maybe he wants Fogger to try the hybrid he's, yeah, first he's, so he doesn't waste for the For sure. Pick. I think both of the players want that sort of... To, to corner the other player in a situation where they need to pick a hybrid. Mm -hmm. But I don't know... I don't know. Will that happen? Like, will we get to that point? Or will they just keep going back and forth on rides? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So many questions. <laughs> we will just have to wait and see. All right, the very beginning of the map. The, very, uh, very close, but that's just the intro. Yeah. That's how it goes. We're getting to the real meat of the map. Yeah, it does look like Kyle has a much stronger accuracy. Oh, it dips down a little bit, but does seem to still have the advantage there. Yeah, they they both dip down on each burst, but Kyle's doing a much better job of holding on. For sure. No breaks yet either. Oh, but we got pretty close. 
some messy UR bars from both players. Yeah, they do seem to be... Well, at least Kyle is hitting a little bit early on the, on the burst, you can notice there. Yeah, but he's maintaining that accuracy advantage. Fogart is climbing a little, oh, but he drops down to 98.7. 98 Ooh, a miss! Breaks. No! And that's a huge accuracy drop, oh too. Oh my god, no! Oh, and again. oh, another one! Oh my god. It really is just sort of like the misses versus combo here. Yeah. Despite their nearly tied in accuracy, but it's just those misses really damage the score a lot more. Again. Oh, another one! Oh, this... We've seen Fogger drop ah. big misses before. That's exactly what Kyle needs at this very end. I don't know if he's gonna get it though. Oh, this is intense. Oh, and I think that oh. seals the deal. Yeah, Kyle needs to win this another breakpoint in order to get back in that comfort zone. Wow, look at how similar oh, those score sheets are. Just the miss oh difference. My God. That's literally it. That's crazy. That's really interesting. Kyle needs to Kyle needs to make sure that this next pick from Fogershot is a blunder or some of some sorts. Kyle needs to make sure that they're able to win this next pick. So that mm. the breakpoints can be balanced out again. And and then after that. They need to not pick tech because it does seem like Fogershot is having that edge on him. Like yeah. he's really edging Kyle there. Right. <laughs> Looks like we're going with inevitable struggle. Hmm. Um, that is a jump stream pick. That's a fairly, I guess, in the middle sort of pick here. Um, so. I believe we are using the 1.15 rate. Mm -hmm. So that would be 217 BPM, and I think the patterns are fairly comfortable. Um, I think both these players can handle that pretty well. It's long, but there are breaks, so it's not really stamina heavy. So we'll see how that goes. Would you say um, this is perhaps like the most straightforward pick we've I would yet? say that the most yeah, out of all the picks, well, this is our first jump stream pick right. uh, that we've seen. Yeah, I think that for sure, it's like out of the jump stream picks, it's definitely on the more comfortable sort of straightforward side. Oh, it looks like Photoshop is going around map. Oh, that's um, client. Hello, we will restart very quickly. Pardon the client. I love it when that happens. Uh, it might be loud. Okay. okay. Here we go. All right, we are back. We are so back. Oh, and Kyle is All right. looking really nice right now. Yeah, honestly, that's kind oh. of to be. Ooh. Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh my god. That's... Wow. We're... Now we're just neck and neck. Yeah. Kyle's been able to maintain himself, usually for the first quarter, like, really strong. But he picks up a bunch okay. of pieces throughout the rest. Yeah, it does look like we're gonna get a lot of misses from both of these players, but... Fogershot just seems to have the advantage here. Yeah, I, I did think this was a good pick for Fogershot. I think it does favor him. Yeah, I feel like Fogershot... Um, I guess the jump streams kind of favor him more, even though Kyle is more of a jump stream sort of, like, person. Like, he really likes these jump stream picks. It yeah. just favors Fogershot more. Oh, we're getting some misses. I think oh, but Kyle, Kyle doesn't give right his back. other skill sets enough credit, honestly. Like, especially as I we've guess. seen in this match. Yeah, for sure. The stream picks were overall quite close, so... Mm -hmm. Ooh, awkwardness. The break section from Kyle there. 
I'd say he... Well, let's just hope that Kyle doesn't miss that much. I think he's still within striking distance if Foger really screws up the ending. Yeah, for sure. We still got but it does seem that Kyle suffers more from the sort of stamina component of these maps. That is true. And maybe that's taking a toll on him. Even Maybe like in a regular session, he would be pretty comfortable on this, but... I guess the stamina of the match as a whole might be taking a toll on him. Losing p this pick is gonna... Honestly, it's not gonna be too bad. He's still down just one breakpoint, but... He just needs to make sure he wins his own pick, I guess. This next pick. So maybe he could dip his toes into the hybrids? Yeah. Or maybe choose like cheat reel and like hopefully like win Fogershaw out on Ag? I would definitely say he's in a position where picking the hybrids will do him more good than bad. For sure. It does seem like he is struggling with that um, sort of stamina because here, we're just seeing him tank. So he really needs to stay away from the rest of the jump stream picks, that's for sure. Because, um, I guess with the exception of Cheat Reel, like, Winnipeg, Knockman Core, they're faster than this, and they're also probably a little bit more difficult. Winnipeg is shorter, and the jump streams don't go on for as long. So that might be fine for Kyle, but I'm not really sure. Um, mm -hmm. This is... Just, I, Kyle's in a really sticky situation here. Yeah, I guess this pick just does go to show that he was on the right track picking tech. We'll see where he goes next. I'm really hoping for hybrid since we haven't dipped our toes in there yet, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see Sugary Daydream. I mean, something one of the easier picks that maybe Kyle will not uh, like falter on in terms of physicality. Cheat Reel, Sugary, maybe Fire in the Sky, and then probably Winnipeg. But those those are the picks that I expect to see. Bang Bang is a huge maybe, seeing as they just are- they both seem to- okay, there you go, Sugary Daydream. Uh, I think that's probably fine. I think he will win this. I think this should be relatively comfortable for Kyle. Whoa. But I don't know how well Photoshop does in terms of like- Accuracy. Accuracy. So this is going to be interesting. If Kyle loses this point, he's in really hot water. Oh, for sure. He's in a really sticky situation. And so then... That's why I really wanted him to pick hybrid, especially because we yeah. saw Fogershot ban one of the hybrids. That's kind of like a, a telltale sign that that's kind of what you should go for. Exactly. I think Photoshop can easily just go for a knockman core and then just knock him out, you know? Yeah, he, he has a lot of options. You can even go for like Naruto. I think that might be good for Photoshop. I don't know. Well, in terms of accuracy, it does seem like Kyle is has that advantage, but if he misses somewhere on one of the harder bursts, then that would easily swing it over back to Photoshop. Oh, oh but Photoshop finds the first miss, so that's, yeah. that's gives a little bit of more of a buff to Kyle. Yeah, it does look like Kyle has the lower end accuracy advantage here. Yeah, but he could 
Oh, but it's so close. It's so hard to. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard to call. Like it could easily swing over to Photoshop side if if Kyle just misses once. Mm -hmm. That's how close we're talking. That's insane. Usually you only say that when it's like 99.8 versus 99.7, but these players are really evenly matched. Yeah, it's just it's it's hard to understate. I I would say because like just the the past few maps. Excluding inevitable struggle since Kyle sort of faltered on that uh, stamina wise, it has to be really close for each of the picks. And Kyle gives up the accuracy advantage here. He's, I, he's really just trying to go for the combo. He realized that. Oh! oh what? I see that! Oh no! <laughs> There's still a little bit of. Oh, that's left. unfortunate. Oh, and Poker Shot oh, misses! Oh, oh, oh but he didn't drop a lot of accuracy. Enough. Oh my god, how's it gonna go? This. Oh, oh and another miss! Oh, it's oh, so it's close! Like, it's gonna go to Kyle! It's, oh it's gone! God. And it's another miss! Oh, but Kyle trades it! Trade. Hold on! No, oh, another no, miss! No, 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 no! no, no. Please! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! That flickered like. Oh my and two, god! Less than 2,000 points to finish it off. Poker shot takes it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, no way. Oh. That was really close. I think just one fewer miss at the end would have given it to Kyle. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, for sure. Oh my goodness. That's intense. What a wild That pick. was seriously intense. Yeah. But like we said, now Kyle is really Ooh! in a bad spot. And oh. he goes for healing vision! This is... Oh, that's going to knock Kyle right out. Oh, no. That's going to bring well, him to match point. I think... This is the kind of map that Poker Shot has such a huge advantage on, just given that Kyle can't handle these sort of like higher physicality picks as we've established. Kyle also struggles a lot on these, the speed maps. So this is a double whammy. Yeah, I think... He will do well on the burstier sections at the in like the first half, but once that sustained stream at the end comes, in I think it's really just gonna go straight to Fogger Shot. Oh no. This is a pretty demanding map. For sure. I would say probably the most demanding stream map at least, and it does seem like both these players well, at least Kyle will struggle more on the streams compared to Fogershot, since Fogershot has been leaning towards the streams just to, as in, in general. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll see because we really there's no indication, right, that Fogershot won't just like hank like the shit out of this pick. You know, we don't know what will happen, but we just know that Kyle will start to lose uh, the accuracy in the end or the combo even. But we don't know how that's going to go for Fogger Shot. Yeah, in these bursty streams, like we've been saying, Kyle does have the advantage here. At least so far. Okay, he can handle these. But he's doing well. Fogger Shot gaining on Kyle. Ooh. But not that Kyle's really dropping. Oh. Oh, <laughs> but he didn't drop accuracy. Yeah, Kyle also has that accuracy advantage. Dropping again, oh. but again, he's still hovering at ninety nine point eight. Fogger still hovering around ninety nine point four. Yeah, it could. Oh. oh, they trade. Okay, they trade. And this is where it's gonna be determined who wins. This stream is oh. really long. I'm so nervous. Oh, oh and there Kyle, he is. No. There it is. Will Fulgur drop as well, or will he full combo this ending stream? He's getting a lot of bad judgments. Ooh. He dropped a I lot of accuracy at the end. He so many bad. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Ooh. Yeah, I think Kyle honestly should have won that because he had such a big accuracy advantage at the end. Wow.
Five Honestly, bats quite incredible. And one miss. <laughs> it's kind of a funny score, but now the ball's in Kyle's yeah. court, and I. That's when Manip, when Manip meets Ack, as they say. <laughs> like I've been saying, you have to go for the hybrids now. Come on. If nothing has, not. Fair, if Kyle doesn't better. take Bang Bang right now, I don't know what to say. Like, there's just no other option, unless, like, cheat reel, but, like, I don't know, that's less of a... Naruto's ninja He's way. taking Naruto! No! That's... <laughs> oh, I don't know about this! Uh, I don't... Ah... Interesting pick. It is interesting, and I... There's no other pick like this, so... Who knows, but... The thing is, like... I feel like... This is a blunder. Yeah, it's interesting, but certainly not his best pick. This is one of the more physical picks in the pool. I would expect Photoshop to pick this. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, this oh, is gonna this, be It could go either one. way. We, we'll, we'll need to see. We'll need to see. Yeah. Okay. Combo. Combo. Photoshop has the act advantage here. Yeah, he was actually holding really high act for a while there. Um, I was actually catching up 9.3. Yeah, we're seeing some equalizers here. Alright, looks like the act on um, both player sides are pretty stable 35 and 5. Or yeah. 50, 35 and 50. They're doing really well on okay. some of these truly patterns. Yeah. They're dropping a little bit, but not too much. It's to the point where a miss could really... Kyle oh. takes the lead? Oh, it's flickering. Yeah, Fogershot uh, dropped quite a bit of act there just now. Ooh, it's so close. Oh, and Fogershot oh. finds the first drop. Yeah, that's huge. This could go to Kyle! Oh, he drops a little bit of accuracy there, but Foger drops oh, again. Oh, Foger's just missing. Oh, no. This is good for Kyle. Oh, oh. that's a huge drop. Oh. No. Oh, Foger oh, trades Foger, it back. Okay. Drops a lot of accuracy. Oh, this is, this is intense. Yeah, they're on equal combo grounds now. And pretty much equal act, but Kyle's earlier combo lead is really holding him through. Yeah, that really gives me the advantage here, if ever so slightly. Oh my gosh. But they're still so evenly matched, but Fogershot finds another miss! Right before hitting the combo cap too, that's really bad for him. Yeah, now Kyle's just gonna farm that uh, bonus score, yeah. and as much as he can, really, as He's he should. Maintaining accuracy advantage, even if just by a little. That at least stops Foger from gaining on him. Oh, and another miss. Well, Fogershot yeah. just isn't making it to that combo cap. Well, but Kyle finds a miss, but will it be enough? It does seem like he is going to keep his lead. There isn't much map left. Fogershot keeps finding misses. Yeah. This might have been a really good pick for Kyle, but it was too close to... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, actually. Well, if he is able to pick up this next pick, he has to pick Bang Bang. Yeah. Like you said, but there's I really wonder nothing what else like will this pick. in the pool. What yeah. will Fogershaw pick? Nice job, Kyle. <laughs> we doubted you, but that was actually a pretty good pick. Wow. And that, that ratio difference! That is absurd! <laughs> yeah. But the it's, miss difference is really yeah. what did it. It's the miss difference, and their 200 count is almost identical. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're, yeah, their 100 and, and bad count as well. <laughs> it yeah. really comes out of the difference, the, the misses, and also that ratio difference. Yeah, that's really interesting. It's We're seeing pick. two completely different playstyles at, at war here. 
Yeah. And it's Focus Pick to win it here. He's at match point. I think he's got a lot of options. Not when core I'm expecting, but... It would be really funny if he picked, like, Strange Adventure or something. Yeah, that'd be fun, honestly. Oh, uh, I... I would not go for Winnipeg. Oh, Ooh, he goes for Winnipeg. Well, that'll make it a little interesting, maybe. I mean, she can still win this, but this was one of the maps that I feel is closer to a 50-50 than Knock and Core. This is gonna be interesting because, like, the map is so short, and also the jump streams don't go on for long. So we're not gonna see as hard a tank uh, as we did in uh, Inevitable Struggle. But who knows? I mean, it's fast enough where Photoshop might have the might have the lead. But I don't know. This feels more like a 50-50 to me. But I guess we'll see. It's a hard call. The BPM isn't much higher than Inevitable Struggle, but the patterns are a lot lighter. And the uh, the jump streams are a lot shorter. Are they they going for uh, not as lengthy as the amount of time? So who knows? Well, at the very least, not see any huge uh, chains of misses. That's for sure. Oh, right off the bat, we're starting to see a lot of misses. Yeah. Both players hurting on this. Both players are. Oh. So That's so interesting. Slowly gaining back up at least. Just a rough start. Yeah, it's still it does seem to be equal, but once the the jump stream section starts back up again, we might see some more misses. Like right here. Just Oh no? Oh drops. Okay. How come back? It could happen. Oh, they trade. Oh, both misses in the hamstring section. Oh, and a big miss from Kyle. Oh, and goes to Photoshop. And again, neither player really wanting to get up to the combo cap. Yeah. Foger has a really big lead here. They trade again. Oh, uh, it, there's not much map left. It's so short, but... Oh, that's a chain of misses there. Oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. This is really hard on Kyle. Yeah. There's not much map left. It's almost over. It's not much ability to recover. And... Well, there you have it. Wow. That was really well fought. A lot of those picks were yeah. way closer than the score reflects. I For This sure. does not feel like a 7-2 to two match at all. Yeah, it was just so close. It looks like we're going to be playing the tiebreaker really quick. Congratulations to Fogershot. Yeah, he put up some really good scores. Yeah, and we'll be playing the tiebreaker now. So see, what we were really trying to go for, for this pool, was really looking for a sort of balance, I guess, between the, the skill sets. Mm. And I, I'm not sure if we really hit the mark there, but I think it went out pretty well at the, in the end, even though we sort of didn't see a single hybrid except for this, which is not what does not count to the score. So that's interesting. Yeah. I feel like that was sort of to be expected given the play styles of both these players. Mm -hmm. I really just wish that's we could have seen them. Yeah. I think that might have at least given Kyle a chance at some more points. Yeah, I feel like if Kyle picked Bang Bang, that could have thrown in a little bit of a wild card there. But, oh well. 
Um, they're always open to do a rematch, I would say. Yeah, and maybe with like the inclusion of an LN pool, maybe Kyle would have an upper hand. Yeah, the thing is they both sort of agreed to not have any LNs <laughs> in the pools. <laughs> Yeah, and they wanted all the hybrids to be uh, less LN oriented. Which I think is, it's, if it's a 1v1 for these two players, I think that's completely fair. These players are doing surprisingly well on these streams. This is like yeah. really physical for them, but they were holding combo for a while. Yeah, and yeah, they're both holding 96s here, oh, just about. Not anymore, but <laughs> still, like that's kind of crazy. And Kyle is holding the advantage, so I feel like if he did dip his toes into the hybrids, he might have had a chance. Yeah. I don't know. I do think it would have favored him. Um, it's really interesting. I guess we'll never know. Both players holding on to their S ranks at the halfway point here. Well, they both said that they don't think they're gonna get any S-rank on this map, so let's just hope that they maintain it uh, so that they can get S-ranks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they both miss on the little LN. <laughs> Very funny misses there. We really see they're not really LN players. <laughs> Yeah, Fogu struggles on these releases, getting a lot of bad judgments. Yeah, a lot of... Honestly, kind of mixed earlies and lates. Well, Fogu's really struggling with this part here. This triple section. Both players mess up the long jack, but it's okay. There's a slight LN section. Closer to a hybrid section. And yeah, I think this just proves that Kyle really would have had an advantage on those hybrid picks. Those yeah, really I feel like, like especially like with, with like Bing Bang, that would have been really good for Kyle. Yeah. Honestly, I would be really happy to see a rematch between these players. I feel like, especially given that I guess Kyle sort of like woke up a little late today, that might have had an effect on this. And if, if the pool might have, might be a little bit less physical, or if, I guess like more in favor of like Photoshop, maybe we could balance things out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Could make a really interesting match because what we had right here. We saw the potential for, like, a literal tiebreaker scenario. It's just that Fogershot just happened to get those ever so slight advantages on each of those picks. So it's a very interesting sort of dynamic here, and I can't wait to see both of these players develop further, and we'll probably see them in some tournaments in the future. So that's going to be really exciting. Yeah. I think if, uh, if Kyle maybe use the hybrids to buy him some time and then like pick cheat reel or something and get another extra point he might have been able to force tiebreaker and clearly he would have won yeah that would have been a really interesting scenario and i hope that both of these players can what they take from this match is they're able to figure out in what areas that they would like to improve and we can see them develop further and further as tournament players as their sort of career progresses 
And I can't wait to see that happen. Honestly, it's just going to be so interesting to see this development. Let this be sort of their a mark in this um, sort of their a way to see um, how much they they've improved since this very match. So yeah, that's going to be. I guess that's going to be it from us. Yeah. Um, congratulations to Photoshop for winning this brawl, and we'll be uh, we'll be seeing you guys later with uh, maybe uh, another brawl coming soon. Question mark. Um, I don't know. Uh, there does seem to be one in development at the moment. I believe within the next couple of weeks, at the very least, we will be seeing a Hachiraj versus Art Cat uh, SV. Uh, BSM Brawl, which is going to be very interesting. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be happening soon. Uh, I haven't heard any developments for it yet, but it was in the talks for a little bit. Um, as for any other BSM Brawl, I'm, I don't think we have any other uh, in store, or at least in the works. So. I believe yeah. there was talk of maybe a Taiko one? I don't know if that's going to pull through, though. <laughs> yeah. That would be well, interesting to see. For sure. Well. And, yeah, I think that's it for from us. Yeah. So, uh, thank you all for tuning in uh, to our silly little matches. Um, and we'll be seeing you guys next time on BSM Brawl. Bye.